everyone. Hope everyone's keeping well. I've been gifted these two kits to build, model kits. I've never done figures before, so it's going to be a little bit of a challenge, I think. Um, I'm going to start with this one because it looks a bit easier to do. I want to make sure that the horse one I do quite well. So we'll put that to one side. So let's have a look in the box. I've done a little bit of research on them and, and apparently they go together quite badly, leave lots of gaps, so there's probably going to be a lot of filler in things going on. Let's have a look. That's it, that's what you get. And that's the instructions. So there's no step by step process on these instructions, it's just a picture of the finished model number of the parts and the colours to paint them. Like I said, I've never done figures before so it's going to be quite a bit of a challenge I think. But we'll see how it goes. Cool, let's get along with the build I suppose. So this is all the bits that you get. They look quite detailed. figures before. I don't know whether that's supposed to be there or whether it's got something might be missing now, I don't know. Hmm, it's the same with my end as well. Perhaps that's for a different kit. We'll see. Usually with model kits you get like low locator pins on the inside there so that then you can see where it's going to go but with these kits you don't you know it's nothing like that so it's very easy for them to sort of slip up and down so I'm going to use the, the extra thin Tamiya's extra thin cement a bit quicker and I can hold it while it, while it gets in there. I don't know if you can see that they slide very easy. So anyway we'll see how it goes. I'll start with the feet and get the feet done first. So we'll uh, see how it goes. Quite a bit awkward to hold together. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna hold it like that, run a seam of glue. Sides just to give it a bit of tack. So, not a brilliant join on them. Can't see some gap there. seconds. I'll lift the bits 
the little lovely bits on there. Because I might have to do some filling, so it's going to need some sanding off anyway. Good squeeze. See how it dries up. Make sure we get plenty of them seams there because we don't really want gaps. Yeah, so this is going to be fun. As you can see there, I don't know if you can see that, but got a lot of gaps. Not too bad. lines there, I'll we'll sand them off. Although in the picture there's supposed to be a ridge line down the front. So let's go on with this one. See how easily it slides up and down. So you've got no nothing to hold it in position. Again, just put a little bit on just to give it a bit of attack. So, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge, I think. Looked at other people's making them, and they do tend to need quite a bit of filling on the lines and the gaps. But I think a bit of a tight squeeze on them shouldn't be too bad. Need a little bit of locking in there. thing about using this type of glue is it dries very quickly, like it sets very quick. I was using normal glue, you've got the risk of it all coming apart and then you've got to use all your elastic bands and things. As you can see I've left little tabs on there from the moulding. So far, a little bit more, some other bits to add. I didn't go to go too bad, you can see on his foot there, a bit of bad join in there, a few bits to sand down. Not too bad, not too bad. You can see on his neck there, you can see that. Bit of a hole there on his neck, on his collar, and a bit of filling. A few more bits to do. A bit of filling under the arms. His foot's a bit dodgy. 
back ends okay not too bad yeah the main thing is it stands up on its own Yeah, not looking too bad at the minute. 